Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Hamilton. I am going to do a little makeup tutorial today. Um, I'm just wanting to show you what I do to the day to day, just um, nothing too extravagant, just looking sort of soft and as feminine as possible. Uh, I don't know if you can see, um, I'm still quite stubbly. Uh, and I do cut myself, I do four shaves in the morning to even get it looking this <laughs> this smooth. So, um, yeah, it takes a little bit of patience when shaving. I also do like a cut for it shave, so I, um, I'm i going in every direction just to get it as smooth as I can. So I'm also going to use a little bit of primer. And this is just the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer. Um, don't use too much. Um, it's just literally just to put over my cheeks and my face around my chin. Naughty little primer. Um, so yeah, so this is really, while I'm still waiting to have things like hormones, um, replacement surgery and things like that, the makeup really is the only thing I feel that sort of feminises me throughout the well, of the day. Um, my hair has grown, but I mean, as you can see, I, I am still receding. I often hide these with hair bands, which I'll show you <laughs> at the end, just to cover cover up and give it a bit of a curl, which isn't great for my hair as I'm trying to, for, to let it grow. The, uh, the heat isn't fantastic for it. So to rub all that primer in, um, I am using, I've got a lot of Rimmel, I'm using the uh, Match Perfection. Um, two squirts is normally fine for my face. Um, and then I use a nice brush just to get it mainly first I go over my tash area and then my cell patch area okay and then I just start brushing it up brushing it upwards towards the corners of my cheekbones forehead now a lot of my headbands and um, hats that I've been wearing have got a really disgusting thick line of foundation where that sits across there, but I still do the foundation, I uh, still do up on my forehead anyway. Now you can see under here, I get a lot of um, where my hair goes and um, different directions. So this is where I get a lot of problem areas with shaving marks. Okay, um, just getting the eye sockets. So yeah, so just keep on just blending that in. I say blend, just keep rubbing it into the skin as much as possible. I've still got a little bit left, so I'll just go over. Again, just in the problem areas, just so that they stay concealed throughout the day. Now I work quite long hours, I could do 10 to 9 o'clock and this normally does hold quite well, but that's because I've shaved as tight as possible. Um, but yeah, it normally holds out not too badly. I probably wouldn't go out again afterwards. I'd have to come home and shave, but it definitely makes a difference to, to throughout the day at work and not getting that horrible shadow. And I work with, I'm a hairdresser, so I've got a salon, so I get a lot of down lighting um, in my salon. So that would definitely show up the shadow more. <laughs> okay, so now that's applied, I'm gonna just dab with a sponge into the foundation into the skin a bit more. Okay, just lightly patting um, all the way around the face. La 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 la. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right, so now that's done, and that's all my liquid that I've used other than other than it comes to eyeliner. Everything now for me is pretty much powder. Um, so now that I've got my base, I don't know if you can see, it's looking much smoother. Okay. Oh, big old hat there. Um, okay, so now we are going to be working on um, sort of um, contouring using powder brushes. So. I just use a, these are my unicorn brushes from my unicorn set, pretty. Um, 
So I'm just going to use the uh, slanted brush um, and just with a bit of bronzer, I'm going to go with the middle, I'm going to create it from underneath and I'm just going to come down slightly. I don't want a really big um, amount on there, it's just a highlight up my cheeks here. Okay, so I'm almost doing like a, a bit like a C. Okay. So rather than it being too much of a heavy line, this bronze is just nice to blend through. Okay. So I'm going to put just a little bit more. Can you see how just curving it in? Oh, you're going to see that hand quite a lot. I'm very sorry. Um, do, 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 do. So yes, just get that. Just keep brushing that in. And then I'm going to just for the blush off, that's literally it for there. Um, I'm going to use a bit of a pink. Now I've got these, these are just called Sleek, these are off Amazon. Um, they've lasted me ages, like about two years. But I mix and match things all the time, so I'm not always using the same, the same brush. Then just a bit of a stubbier brush to go in with the pink. And this is where you get the dark face. I'm going to pull in a bit. And where it's just dark there is where I put, I just literally dab on the pink for the blusher. Okay. I'm going to come in with this hand. So you can kind of see it's not really looking like um, pretty or pristine or anything like that at the moment. So it's going to just be a case of building up things and then um blending so then i have got goddess of love triple baked highlighter i love hi highlighter if i was to be stuck on a desert island highlighter would probably be one of my main <laughs> makeup um products that i would take and i'm going to brush that all up on my cheekbones here okay um and maybe just swing it around a little bit around the temples and maybe a little bit down here. Depends on what I'm wearing and how I'm feeling to do. Depends what I do with that. <clears throat> now I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to use a stubby brush. And this is where my face really kind of takes shape. Is when I sort of just underneath the brow. Okay. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to lengthen my eyebrows. So I'm going to come just down a bit further than where they stop. And I always start where I want it to be heavier, so I always start on like the furthest bit away. So the I don't want to say the corner of the the socket, but I start that's where I want it to be more prominent. So I'll always start there, and then just again, like I said, extend it through a bit. Sometimes as well, I do it today actually. Sometimes I will come in and just do a little bit in the eye corners. Okay. And then and then we'll come the other hand. So I'm gonna blend that in a little bit as well. So now that that bit's done, I won't need the highlighter again. Um, so what I will do, I'm using this Magnetize Spice Edition. I can't remember where I got this actually. This is Rimmel also, probably from my local drugstore, at Boots or somewhere like that. Um, so I want to keep this quite natural. So there's a lot of nice colours on there, but I tend to be using mainly the uh, this colour, this colour here, and then for a bit of depth, I just use a couple of the sparkly dark ones, which I create around the socket. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the white to start off. Again, I go from white coming out. I would like to try one day reversing ingredients, but I haven't got around to playing around with that. But while I'm off for the uh, lockdown, I may just do that. Okay, so. Just keep applying on. So the lighting's not fantastic there for you to see, but I will come up a bit closer. Okay. 
So I'm going to do it just about halfway across, the, well just under halfway across the eye. And then just go slightly bit darker, so now I've done the white I'm going to use, I'm going to go a bit golden actually, I'm going to go for the golden one today. Um, they're just quite nudie natural colours, I don't want to go, so I'll bring that over the rest of the eyelid. Do, 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 do. And then, that's, what's that, that's covered. Okay. There's a little brush on the end. That's just to help blend. I'm going to brush from the white out. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then I'm going to use a bit of the pink. The pinky one there. That's more peach, really, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to just follow, literally, my eye socket. Okay. So again, I'm going to start a bit darker on this side, so that's why I want it to be more prominent. So I'm going to start, put my brush on first, but I want it to be darker. Okay, and then I can just start moving around with my brush, well, with the padded applicator okay and just sort of dabbing it so you can sort of see this nice healthy glow that I'm starting to create on the um, on my face now <laughs> so remember darkest bit I want to look dark fat and once you dark fast I shall put my brush first bring it down and then I can start to bring it all the way around. Okay, and then using the little twizzly brush thing at the end again, just to blend it through. Okay. And I really need to get some better lighting. I'm sorry that might not be able to see what I'm doing so much. Okay. So you can see how it's just really starting to accentuate all my um, features. So I'm not trying to necessarily plaster on this. It's just a day-to-day -day look. So I'm just trying to just make things pop out a little bit rather than look like I'm wearing loads of makeup. Although I do like wearing lots of makeup. Um... Okay, so now that I've got that done, I don't really want to go much more with my eyes. So I'm going to get my um, bigger unicorn blending brush. And even around here now, I'm just going to start to blend everything through. Just softly rotating. <laughs> so, you know, just keep... Going round. I mean, you can kind of still see here that my my tash is still fairly visible, but there's not really much I can do unless I win a million pounds and get electrolysis. Now, I'm also just gonna use that to go over my eyes. Now, rightly or wrongly, it works for me. It just takes off the harshness of it all, softens it up. Okay, so that is now the base of my face done. I'm gonna work now on my eyebrows and eyelashes and then do maybe just a teeny bit of lip liner just because the foundation has blended my lips in and my top lip is pretty small. So we are now going to resume position. And we are going to now start. Let's bring this a smidge closer. Um, with the eyebrows. So um, my eyebrows before I started plucking were huge. So... I am um, a lovely friend of mine has been helping me shape them and I've been managing to keep them in shape just by plucking but they could do with a bit of a wax but um, I got this really amazing um, um, eyebrow sort of shaper oh god I rearranged my drawers yesterday what did I do with it um, um, yeah it's really amazing eyebrow it's got four different colours to it Oh, there you go. These are my wonderful IKEA draw dividers, which have made a massive help in finding things. 
Um, so, uh, Eurally, it's just a brow kit for the perfect eyebrow. So it starts from lighter to darker. I've tried out all of the um, scenarios, or like played around with all the colours to try different effects, and um, by watching lots of YouTubes and how a brow is naturally kind of set. So um, I used to use a lot of the light one just to make it look a bit sparse in there, but I found out different ways of, of achieving it just by having a little play. So I tend, because I'm quite dark, I'm very dark, I use um, the second to darkest and then I use the darkest on the ends. So to start creating this shape, just pat on, I always start underneath, okay. And I just sort of follow the brow initially, okay. And then do the same on the other side. And by using that underneath bit first, I'm not coming on the top, we're going to brush that up. So that'll give it that. We are going to brush up. So can you see I've just literally gone underneath, bring it round. Now I've got a scar on my eyebrow as well, so I have to um, conceal that. So still using the same brown, uh, coming underneath first, and then just following the shape of the brow. Okay, now I'm going to come in and use the darker one. I'm just going to hold this, I think it's a bit easier and you can see a bit more. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to use the darker one to fill in this, this hole. Okay. And kind of just follow, yeah, follow around my eye socket, and then just using the tip to try and make it a little, little bit softer. Now I always have this is my heart, my weaker side, I'd say. And then this other side always seems to look a bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna just now. I don't know if it's because of the angle that I'm holding the brush. I seem to get a softer, a softer um, finish. Like, see how much more different that looks to that side. I've gone a bit long, long on that side. Um, but that's okay because I've just. Make this a little bit longer too, but it just always seems to stay a bit softer. I'm just gonna pat that up a little bit. Um, that's okay, because I can go back to my brush and I'll just dab some of that off. And it just softens it a little bit more. Okay, so now we've got the brows. Um, I'm gonna use one of these brushes that aren't right by me right now. Um, okay. One of these, uh, they are just disposable mascara ones, but I use them for my eyebrows. So just to brush up. Okay. And then I just still brush all the way down. It just kind of connects it up a little bit more and makes it a little bit more realistic. I have tried doing like the fake bits, but I just end up looking a bit evening in OTT. So it's something I do more for going out to um, for an evening event. Okay, so that's that bit done. So now, I'm totally up to you whether you want to use. Um, eyeliner or not. I don't use eyeliner very often, not day to day, but I am going to just pop a little, little bit um, and get on the corners of my eyes. I don't like to use too much eyeliner unless I'm going out for an evening. So actually I'm going to have to put you down because this I can get, get very angry if I don't get this right. <laughs> okay. I'm just literally going to press into the corner. I 
I'm really not trying to make it really heavy. I just want to create a tiny, tiny line. Oh, so I don't know if you can see the difference here. Do, 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 do. Just a tiny bit. It just takes the edge off the, um, you know, the eyeshadow and the highlighter. So it's not like I'm trying to make it look like I've got lots on. I just want a very... A very subtle amount. This bit is just very, I don't know if it's fiddly, but yeah, it is fiddly. Um, it's just trying to, hi, uh, sorry, that bit does just get me a little bit. So, it's only, I'm going to, um, it's only just a smidge, do you mean, just, just, here and here, not a lot at all. Okay, and then mascara now, I have got um, eyelash curlers. I don't really use them that often, I, yeah, I just don't. I would probably stick on some, um, what they called, fake ones if I was going out. I probably wouldn't use um, the eyelash curlers that much at all, really. Um, so I've got lots of different mascaras. Um, well, I just want to, uh, again, day to day, I don't want to be massive. So, I'm going to stop my coming down. Oh, that was quite dry. I'm going to use one. So, I'm going to use my Rimmel. Scandalous Reloaded. Um, Start by coming down and then going up. Now we're using like the tip, and this is um, just gonna be careful with your eyes, but I just like to go in deep like this. That kind of creates a bit of a eyeliner effect anyway. Same for the other side. So, just coming down first and then up. So I'm just going to keep going over. I really like mine at the corners to come out. I don't like to go too heavy on the inset. Again, because I'm trying to make it look natural as possible. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Maybe just a little bit on the corners on the bottom set. Okay, so that is kind of now, under my lips, that's me done. So what are you thinking so far? I see, just nice, natural, nothing to OUTT. I mean, this is taking me 25 minutes, but it doesn't take me that long normally. I can do it normally about 15. Um, so because of wearing foundation, um, sorry, it's rummaging. I want to just create a little bit of a shape around my lip because um, um, 
um, like I said, my, my top lip's pretty small, so I'd really like to just um, just accentuate it up a little bit. So going over lip liner. Now these are um, just on Amazon as well. I threw the box away, but they cut. There are a lot of them um, deeper, sort of darker colours. I don't know if you can see that. Matches my top almost. Um, but it's just and they're just natural colours, so they go down quite dark. I'm just gonna go over the line of my lip first. I'm gonna come down on the bottom lip. Okay. And then I just go all over, um, all over my lip. <laughs> um, it helps to stain it a little bit. You can get lip stainers. I just haven't got around to getting any yet. But uh, it just makes it a bit more, again, more natural. I don't want it to really look like I've got <coughs> some cotton. So what I'll do now, I'll just keep patting. And then with a bit of Vaseline, And then with a tiny bit of Vaseline, just go over the top. Okay, so let me show you what I've done here. So just see very, very, um, lightly so it's very much the colour of my lips so I'm not trying to over overdo it. But uh but see the difference in my skin. So I'm just gonna curl my hair now and we shall do a little bit after shot as well. So yeah I hope that um was any use. It's kept me entertained for um for the morning for twenty twenty seven minutes. <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching. See you later.